this video I'm going to show you how to lay down laminate floor and all you're going to need is some, some simple tools like this, a jigsaw, a good blade, this is an 8 point blade, it's a fast, fast cutting wood blade, you're going to need a, a tool like this, and I'll show you how to use that here in just a minute, you're going to need a block, a piece of scrap wood, uh, laminate flooring to knock it in, you need a, a good true tape measure, one that you trust, a pencil sharpener. A pencil because you need to make sure that those lines that you make are precise. You may need a sharpie, you're definitely going to need a hammer and a speed square and a trash can. You can do everything in the house right where you're at. Uh, probably need an extension cord for your uh, jigsaw, a broom, and a dustpan. So, all through this video, you're going to have helpful hints on how to lay a laminate floor and using just the basic simple tools that most people have around the house and if you don't have them it's going to cost you very minimal amount of money so like cutting the length of a board and cutting around an object all those tips are going to be in this video hope you watched all the way through to the end and i hope this video helps you out in some kind of way let's get started next board is going to be a little tricky. It's going to have a lot of waste on it. So the first thing you want to do is mark how long it needs to be. So this big piece right here needs to be facing out that way. So to mark this, flip it around, lay it up there, and give your an expansion gap down there on the end. You want to come in and mark. What you want to do is you want to mark this board see where that board stops but not this down here this is where that board stops at that's what you want to mark and let's see I need to make a little better cut mark than that all right the thing about a sharpie is it makes too big of a, of a line you need uh, a sharp pencil So, what happens if you do it like this is while you're going it tends to slide on you if you put your speed square over here on this side tend to doesn't want to do it as much so find where you want your blade at first thing you want to do is find where you want your blade and butt your speed square up against it Be able to keep this and use this on the next uh, run okay so don't discard this one we're fixing to use it we need to find out how wide it is that's where a yardstick comes in good because uh, a lot of times it's faster than a tape measure you can see the lines better and so this needs to be uh, one and seven eighths we're not measuring from this board we're measuring from this one, okay? So one and seven eighths is what we need the next board to be. Remember, we're not measuring from this board, we're measuring from this one. So it's one and seven eighths. They're right there. Just put us a little dot. Come down here and do the same thing. One and seven eighths. All right, we're going to use our ruler, our yardstick. Remember, this cut doesn't have to be precise. 
so it's okay if you use this because you're okay within a quarter of an inch. Bam, just like that. The first cut's gonna be hanging off the edge right here, and then once we get to the trash can, we'll pick it up and sit it in. Now this scrap piece right here, you can use it for your uh, block to tap these boards in. Right, this is your cut edge right here. Pick that up and set this in and make sure that it is flush right here. I'm put a spacer in right here, put this in here. Tap it in. I just make sure that it's tight. This, this is the piece that I told you we were going to use that we just cut off that board. So tilt it in. And then when you hear it pop, like that, it's in. We'll use the next board. Position your board like it needs to be, which is like this. This needs to be facing out and turn it around. Put this up here. Remember you want to mark from the edge of this board onto this one. and give your expansion gap on the other end down there. I'm eyeballing, my eyeballs ain't right sometimes, so I may have to take a little more off of it, but that should be right. Okay. If you want to, you can come in here and use your yardstick and measure it, leaving you a gap from over there. And it's 12 and uh, seven, six, five eighths, 12 and five eighths, but you can probably do 12 and a half, make it easy from here to here. All right, we've got our mark right here. Let's put our speed square up to it. Let's make a mark with our pencil. You wanna see where we're at with that 12 and a half inches? Let's see here. It's right on. 12 and a half inches. So see, there you go. That's the way you do it. Next thing, put your blade where it needs to cut. And then butt your speed square up against it. And this piece is going to go on the next run, so don't get rid of it. We'll take both of these over here with us. All right. Just in here. Now, you can't get in here and knock that in like you would before, like that. So, a lot of people will stick it in like this and tilt everything up. Make sure that you got some kind of spacer back here behind it. That's definitely going to fall over. All right, now you need to pick this up at an angle. This is the piece we cut on just a minute ago on that last board. Put this in here and 
Spit it like that. Right there. Make sure these are not like that. This seem to be that close to that one, so I'm gonna take cut this one off shorter on this end.
Ooh, Lord help me. Golly, at that music. This is so easy right here when you go to want to need to cut out a notch. Uh, you just lay it up there like you just saw uh, and just start cutting it out. This is a really simple process. It is so easy to put this stuff down. You might run into a few things while you're doing it, like sometimes a board won't fit right. Take it back out and look because there may be a piece of trash or it could be to where that some of your laminate or uh, the MDF or whatever that is on the back side of it could be broken and it's not letting it slide up in there like it should. So check that and make sure that when you're doing it that uh, the two boards are lined up right because sometimes they could be offset and you're going to ram them together and like that right there and it could be that those two boards are not lined up right. So that's just one thing to look for. When you're putting it in and you're doing it like this, you just want to pop it in with your hand and I just put that tool in there in between the cabinet and the uh, laminate flooring as a little spacer. Now I'm tapping it in. I'm not tapping it hard. That right there is the area that you want to make sure that it's not uh, misaligned. And as you're going around the floor installing all this you want to have a gap an expansion gap and what that gap does is the house uh, gets humidity in it or it's getting hot or cold the changes in the ambient temperature and whatnot it, it causes your floor to expand and contract and what would happen is your boards will start bowing up and i know a lot of people are wondering why didn't you take up the laminate uh, not laminate, but the vinyl flooring. Why don't you take the vinyl flooring up? Well, I took one layer up. It wasn't glued down. But this next layer, I guess it had been there since 1974 when the house was built. It was not only glued down, but it was had staples around all the corners. And I'm like, uh, if they put vinyl flooring over top of that, then I'm going to put laminate flooring over top of that. It's my house. I don't, I mean, it's not going to hurt nothing. It's, it's not spongy, so it's not going to hurt the uh, integrity of the, the boards and where they're locked together. <clears throat> if you can get you a yardstick, it will really help you out tremendously laying this flooring. It's so much easier. And with me, with a tape measure, the doggone things cut me. <laughs> They're sharp, and it, no doubt I'm tired of getting cut. I didn't put 600 square foot of flooring into the living room, and I've done so many projects. I'm tired of getting cut, so I was like, I'm getting a yardstick, a heck with a tape measure. But, yeah, just stick your board up there like that and mark off what you need on that side, and then put your board, lock it in like it's going to be locked in, and then up there at the counter at the the toe kick of the cabinet mark it right there and then use your speed square and go ahead and mark that off that way too and then cut that out and it'll fit around that cabinet really well really really well really super simple when you're cutting the length of the boards earlier in the video i showed you how you flip them around it's because whatever's backwards is right in the end you believe that Whatever's backwards is right in the end. That could make a good saying for a t-shirt, wouldn't it? Vans World, whatever's backwards will be right in the end. <laughs> Just remember that. So that when you cut it and you flip it around, it's right. Here we go. This is the last board we're putting in. Hey, y'all, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Check out the video description. Uh, there's going to be lots of great information and more information on how I installed this floor. 
Y'all have a good one now. Thanks for watching. And you come back. Don't forget to use the comment section and check out the, the final photos at the end of this video. Or the before and after pictures. Y'all take care now. That's it.